Hi, this review is for the Roman Schmala Aquarius watercolor set of 12 full pans with a color selection chosen by Christoph Kowalski, also known here on YouTube as Espero Art. As a big fan of his beautiful floral paintings, I admit I was tempted by this set more for the pretty cover art than for the colors chosen. It's also nice that when you buy a set like this, you get to try a wider variety of colors to test a brand out with less cost per color than buying individual pans. You may have seen other positive reviews for these paints online already, as they have been a big hit with many artists for their affordability, high pigment load, and wide variety of colors offered. I will start with saying that I love this brand, but it is not without problems. First, these paints are honey-based and stay sticky and gooey in the pan at room temperature. I would not use these in a travel palette where they might be out in the warm sun. I had to put mine in the fridge for a little while so that I could even remove the wrappers. I also had to move these into a tin after I recorded this because the paints once unwrapped are like glue and will stick to the inside of this paper box. None of the pans are labeled, so you have to trust that they put them in the container in the correct order as shown on the chart in the back of the box. This set did not include the transparency, granulation, or lightfast information that is normally written on the pan labels when you buy individual colors. The swatch pictures on the box are not totally accurate. Notably, the nickel azo yellow looks less warm in person, and the ultra blue seems quite different than the thalo on the picture, but in reality, they are much closer in color. This set had a surprising number of semi-opaque colors, with half of them having obvious residue over the black line. This means they're not totally ideal for transparent glazing or layering techniques, but on the bright side, there are several options for each primary color, resulting in the ability to mix pretty much any color you could want. This set is capable of deep neutral grays, skin tone browns, floral greens, pinks, and purples. PY150 Nickel Azo Yellow is one of my all-time favorite colors that mixes beautiful leaf greens when paired with almost any blue pigment, such as the Ultramarine or Thalo Blue included here. Because of how easy it is to mix greens with this set, I was actually a little disappointed with the inclusion of Hooker's Green. It's likely a favorite convenience color of the artist, but it's the only one in this set that is multi-pigment mixture, and it would have been nice to have another single pigment blue. I personally avoid PB27 Prussian Blue, which is an ingredient of this hooker's green, because of fading issues. While all manufacturers label it as lightfast, it's a color that commonly fades due to the tendency of iron salts to be bleached by sunlight. It recovers, or reoxidizes while it's removed from UV light. Because it will darken, sometimes making a full recovery, when you put it into a shady area, it's considered permanent. I personally don't believe any color considered light fast should ever fade, even if it was temporary. If you want to learn more about that, I'll put a link to the information about Prussian Blue, along with the art supplies I use in this video in the description section below. I found these colors to be a little chaotic when dropped into a wet wash. Some colors would stay in place and some would spread out, though they behaved and layered well when pre-mixed with enough water. When you try to use them too thick, they can get a little streaky, like pushing around sludge, likely being due to the high honey content. This means that it's overall better to use these paints in layers, allowing the previous layer to dry for building up color and avoiding a streaky mass tone. In addition to my personal preference to avoid Prussian, it should be noted that all individual artists develop a sense of their favorite, most used colors over time. If you're just starting out, a general pre-made set like this could be really handy for making sure you can mix everything you might need. 
I've come to appreciate more granulating colors and even slightly different pigment options. For example, I like their Quinn Pink instead of the Magenta, their Quinn Cherry instead of the Red, and Thalo Turquoise instead of Blue Green Shade. Because of that, I would recommend this set to people who are looking for a variety pack to try out Aquarius watercolors as a brand, but encourage those who know their favorite pigments to consider taking a look at their huge 140 color catalog to pick and choose colors. For those who want to know how these compare to other watercolors, I have a few brands of honey-based paints, including M. Graham, Sennelier, and White Knights. I would say that these Aquarius colors are more highly pigmented than the Sennelier, with a much more impressive earth tones range. These are about equally quirky as M. Graham as far as odd texture, unexpected dispersion, and stickiness in the pan. These reactivate easier than White Knight's older colors, but White Knight's has been making a lot of improvements to their paints over the past year, including updating old fugitive colors to new light fast ones, and are starting to be on a similar quality level. White Knight's are a little sticky, but never this liquidy. Sadly, they have a significantly smaller pigment selection. Roman Schmoll's Aquarius line has a huge selection of unique pigments, only rivaled by Daniel Smith. I'd love to hear your thoughts about these paints, and as always, I appreciate your feedback.
If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent Lightfast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.